Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a video that I've been waiting to do for a very long time. I've been getting little bits and bobs of a brand called Revolution and I finally got a full face. The only thing that I don't have is mascara, but that is like literally the only thing. So I'm going to like get right into it. I'm going to start off with Primer and I never ever ever use primer because I'm pregnant I've got hormones blown from every direction my hair sp like is splitting it gets greasy after like a day my pores are always greasy so I tend to not get primers and just use moisturizer instead this is the primer that I'm going to be using it says a 24 hour makeup protection and then that's all it says really so I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this all over my face it looks like that I don't know if you can see but it looks oh it's quite thick oh no it feels quite oily I don't know if that's just me but that feels extremely oily and that is honestly going to be no good for me at all oh. yeah that feels super oily <laughs> as I've said about five times but I'm not too sure on it at all we'll just have to see how the foundation sits on top of it for foundation I had to get like the shade f2 yeah f2 i wanted to get f4 but this is like the only foundation shade that they had in stock and the reason why it looks like it's already been used is because i did actually record this video yesterday but it was an epic fail and i couldn't record again so i've had to wait until today to do another one because um i was at a midwife appointment so yeah this is why like the foundation looks like it's already been used because like, it has I've already done this video once so I know exactly what all the products are like so I know what I'm going to say but uh, yeah I'll just apply this all over my face I like how thick the foundation is like when I put it on yesterday I was not expecting like the coverage that I got like obviously this does not match me whatsoever this foundation shade like I am a light person but I think it is quite a tiny bit too light for me but it'll have to do we'll try our best to make it work so now that I've got that all over my face I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that in Blending it out I don't think it was too bad like it did take me a lot longer than what I did my normal foundation but I think that's because it's a liquid and not a cream. Um, it seems to be looking really nice on my skin I think it's really light coverage like that spot on my face has not gone I've got another one here and one there. So I'm just going to go ahead with a second layer. Like that spot is still there after a second base but it is quite a big spot the one like on my chin the ones on my chin are still visible as well and yeah so I'm just going to put the rest of my makeup on you never know they might go within that but I'm not putting any more layers on because I don't like it to be too full coverage I still like it to have uh, quite a natural look so I'd say this is quite medium so I'm going to keep it there um, so now I'm going to go in with concealer and obviously for concealer I have to be using this one it's the conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour and this always like everyone already knows about this concealer like let's be honest i've been dying to get my hands on it for such a long time but uh yeah i just i never had chance i got it in c2 and it's meant to be like the tape shape concealer but obviously i'm a mom on a budget i cannot go around buying the tape shape concealer it's just not on my price tag 
So I've finally got this, and I mean like this is only four pound, and this was a struggle for me to get. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Self in the eye. Personally, I still think you can still see my underbags. I don't know if it's just me, but honestly, I do really think that you still can, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. But I really do have quite bad dark circles. I don't know if you'll be able to see it till on camera, but in my mirror, oh, it might just be the lighting. It's brightened it up a lot more. I've done that second layer. Now to set that in place, I'm going to be using the Bake and Finish Luxury Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder, and you get 1.23 ounces in here, which isn't too bad. I don't know if it flashes back. I have been uh, researching about flashback, and I know that there is something that sets off the flashback, but I've got the word. But it says that in the ingredients it contains talc, which talc is quite white. So I think that it could give you a slight like flashback, but I'll try it out. I'll take a photo and see what happens. So I'm just going to take that and put it on the other side of the thing. Like it's coming out a lot better today. Yesterday I was like trying to get it out and nothing was happening. Like obviously something was coming out, but it was taking forever to get the amount that I wanted. For contour, I've actually made a bit of a hiccup, and I've got it's upside down. But I've got the Revolution Pro HD contour palette instead of getting a Revolution one. Like I have got like a contour palette in powders from Revolution, but I wanted to get a cream one as well. And on Superdrug, I did not realise. I don't know how I never realised it was Revolution Pro, but yeah. I made a bit of a hiccup, but I'm still going to use it anyway because I've spent my money on it and like I'm not letting my money go to waste, not a chance, so I'm still going to use it. You never know, I might do a Revolution Pro video in the future and it might come in handy, but yeah, you never know. So to put my contour on, I'm actually going to be taking a flat brush, what I use for my eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using this uh, like first brown colour here. Because I don't want to use any of the dark ones with me being quite light. I'm going to try and bronze myself up with this first. And I'm just going to put this all over my forehead. I've got to blend that out first and then I'll go ahead and do the rest of my face. By the way, my beauty blender is awful. Like I got it out of Super Drug, and it's not a real one. And I can't wait to get myself a real one. I think I'm going to get one soon because blending out of it is just atrocious. Like it's such a chore. So I'm wanting like a proper beauty blender just so I can do it properly, rather than it taking forever and not even blending out right. I 
Ultra Contour and I'm using the uh, Ultra Contour, Ultra Professional Contour Palette. Yeah, we'll just say that. <laughs> and this is what it looks like and I love it, like absolutely love it. Uh, it comes with a mirror and you get banana powder obviously like bronze and powders and then you get like a pinkish white powder up here and then you get like two like shimmery bronzes and a highlight as well and you also get a mirror and all and I think it was only £8 so it was a complete bargain for what you get and these are extremely pigmented like you've got to be really light handed with these because they are so pigmented it's unbelievable so to bronze up my face I'm going to be using this shade right here and just tap off the excess and I'm just going to put it wherever I put my contour I have this palette right here which is just the blush palette and I love this as well <laughs> I literally like well I don't love everything and you'll see soon but uh yeah I'm going to be taking this like it's not a, it's like a I don't know how to explain it it's like a beigey pink so I'm going to be taking that one right there and just putting it above my cheekbones I also like this palette as well because it comes with some shimmery ones at the top which are more like highlighters and I absolutely love them like I've fallen in love honestly. The uh, Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray and I like this but it's got a strong smell to it but the smell only lasts for about 5 seconds and then it goes but the, when it comes out it comes out really like poof and powerful as well so I'm just going to put that all over my face. And now I'm going to move on to eyebrows. Right. I hate this. I absolutely hate it. Like, honestly. It was only £2.50. So I can't really complain for the price. But it's a duo brow definer. And I'm all down for brow pencils. Like, it's got a little spoolie at the end. So you can brush your brows. And you can brush the, brush the product into your brows. But I just don't like it. What shade did I get? I got the medium brown, which I thought would be fine for me because obviously this is dyed. It's not my natural colour because if you can see my roots coming through. I am just a tiny, tiny bit lighter than what like this colour is. So I thought not, like medium brown would be perfect for me. No. Far too pigmented for what I like. Like honestly, some people might like a big, bold brow, but I'm not about that like at all. Like... I like a lot of product on my brows to make me feel like I have got something there but this is just on another level. I'll do one eyebrow and then I'll come back and explain everything to you. Right, that's one eyebrow done. Can we just like take a minute to understand how dark that looks? Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to having a dark eyebrow, but I really don't like it at all. Uh, it's too creamy. Like, you put the product on and you brush it and try and blend it in with your eyebrows, and it just goes everywhere, like all over. So you have to try and wipe it off into place and then you end up wiping your makeup off with it. Yeah, it's just not for me. I'm going to go do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll be back when I've got both eyebrows done but it's going to look dreadful. Like, it's going to look absolutely terrible. Yesterday when i done them, one eyebrow was down here and one eyebrow was up there so just prepare yourself. <laughs> it's brutal. Right, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Right, there's both eyebrows done. That one is actually nowhere near as bad as that one, but they're both completely different. Like, 
completely different like there's no I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them but I'm just like I think I'm gonna quickly just clean them up take some concealer and just hope for the best I think that's made like a tiny difference but not much <laughs> so now I'm gonna move on my eyes and I'm going to take the concealer again and just put that all over my eyes To set that in place I am going to be using my beauty blender and the baking powder that I use to set my under eyes. For the eyeshadow palette I'm going in with neutrals too. I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and this one's from the Argos uh, brush collection. And I'm going to be taking this like creamish white colour here, tap off the excess so I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And now that I've done that I'm going to be going down with this creamy brown shade here at the bottom. And I'm just going to be focusing that on my crease and blend like buffing it off. I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller fluffy brush, not much smaller, and I am going to go in with this top brown shade here, and I'm just going to put that. Sl oh. I don't know how long my camera's been hanging down like that far, but hopefully not for long. <laughs> and I'm just going to be taking that uh, top brown shade here, and I'm just going to be putting it slightly underneath. a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going in with that dark brown at the bottom here and I'm just going to keep that quite close to my outer corner and blend it in now I'm going to be taking my concealer on the back of my hand And my concealer brush, oh that's not my concealer brush, <laughs> where is my concealer brush? So I'm just going to cut my crease. Now I need to set the concealer in place so I'm going to take that first shade that I used there and I'm going to take my fluffy brush from Sephora. I'm just going to tap that all over my eye. On a flat brush I'm going to take this colour here. This is my Soap and Glory flat brush. And I'm just going to put this right on the line where I've done that cut crease. I'm just trying to experiment. And now I'm just going to fade that in the inner crease and just fade it outwards. I'm going to go in with eyeliner and for the eyeliner I've got the double flick liquid eyeliner define your flick and it's got a thick and a thin end so I've done my eyeliner and I really like it I think that the point gives you loads of precision I think it could be a bit more matte black as it looks quite shiny but it's gone over the eyeshadow perfectly and I think it's brought the look up really nice I really like the eyeshadows themselves I think that they're really blending really nicely together even when I have done like this weird crazy look like I want to quickly do my under eye off camera and I'll be right back I'm just going to be taking though, just so you know, 
it's just that my camera's going to die that's all so I'm trying to get as much in as possible but I'm just going to be taking that uh, shimmer shade that I took oh no it was that one wasn't it that shimmer shade that I took and I'm just going to take it right underneath here and I'm going to take the pink one right on the inner corner Ooh. and then I'll be right back now that I've done my lower lash line I look like I've been punched in the face I'm going to go ahead with mascara as I said earlier on I didn't get a mascara so I'm just going to be using the same as always which is my Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara and I'm just going to shut that all over. Now that I've done that I'm going to go ahead with highlighter so first of all I'm just going to spray my face. I am spoilt for choice for highlighters. I've got the Strobe Highlighter. Uh, like two different ones I've got Ever Glow Light and Glow Addict and then I've also got the ones that are in my blush and my bronzer it looks like I'm going in with my strobe highlighter like that glow is unbelievable I love this. So like, it's just such a shuttle, shuttle, <laughs> subtle glow. It's not too much and it's not too little either. I'm going to be taking my angled brush and I'm also be going to put that bronzy highlighter, that gold highlighter in the brow bone. I'm going to wipe my lips with a baby wipe get rid of all the foundation off him there we go and now for my lips I have the retro Lux matte lip kit and honestly when I ordered it online I did not like honestly I didn't realise how dark this was going to be and this is like really really dark for me but I will just talk about formula and what I think of the formula so first of all I'm going to line my lips now that I've done that I'm going to be taking a liquid lipstick and the only problem I have with this is a wand like can you see there it's a bit wonky but that doesn't really bother me it was only six pound i think so it's all right i'll list all the prices if i think in dis the description box below i mean like i love the color i really like it but it's just far too dark for me um the shade is noble i think yeah noble uh i think what i'm gonna have to do is get a different shade but I really like the texture and the formula it feels really creamy and it dries really quick down the mat I mean it is a tiny bit tacky but it's nothing major and I've only just put it on my lips so as it's drying it's actually taking a bit longer I don't think it looks too bad with the eye look that I've done like it doesn't look terrible but uh yeah so Give my face one last spritz of the setting spray. That's it, that's my final look. Thank you for watching. It's been like really good recording and it's actually gone pretty decent this time rather than yesterday. Yesterday's was absolutely horrendous. Like I couldn't upload it at all. Everything just went wrong. So yeah, uh, a final thought about all the products. I loved everything, like absolutely loved everything apart from the eyebrows yeah like they don't look too bad now that i've got all the rest of my makeup on but i just i really don't like it i honestly dislike that eyebrow pencil but everything else i loved like everything else i'll take a photo with a flash see if my face flashes back and i'll put that in the video uh yeah so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it give me a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you want to see more of me i'm going to try and upload every monday i was going to try and upload every monday and friday but i think that's too much of me 
for me as I'm pregnant and I'm also a mum as I've probably already mentioned in the video because I end up mentioning it every single video I do but yeah so uh yeah subscribe click the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload thank you for watching bye see you all in my next one